using the Chattanooga Intellect for doing combo with ultrasound and motor nerve stim, pre-mod or high volt. We're going to do combo now with the Intellect Legend, and it's made by Chattanooga. Push the combo button here. The screen will show up over here, and this letter U will show up. First thing you're going to do is set your ultrasound settings. Set your frequency to 1 megahertz. If you want it to be uh, for a deep tissue and set it for 3.3 if you want it to be for a superficial tissue. Duty cycle, continuous for heat, right there. And if you hit select, of course, you can change it to 20% for pulsed. And then the next thing we're going to do is keep this display at watts per centimeter squared, head warmer off. Go all the way down here to mode. It's preset to pre-modulated. The other options are high volt and IFC. The only two that we'll use are pre-mod and high volt. So we'll keep it on the uh, pre-mod. And now what I'm going to do is go back here to channel select and hit enter and it should switch to channel two and it did. And now it's in the pre-mod setting. You can see at the top right there. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that I have everything set correctly. Since I'm going to be moving the ultrasound head during the treatment where there's going to be ultrasound coming out of the head as well as motor nerve stim, of course I'm going to use gel, then I don't need to set a cycle time. Cycle time is the on-off phase. Beat frequency, that's the thing I'll need to set. So let's say I'm doing chronic myofascial adhesions, so I might want to set it to a 1 to 10 cycles per second. After I've set that, now what I'm going to be doing is I need to set the pads up. The only pad that you'll be using is a huge pad. And you need to make sure it's plugged in on this unit, this Chattanooga Intellect, into the channel 2 red. That's what this one says on the end of it. This big pad will be put on the low back, upper back, anterior thigh, or posterior calf. There should be no stem coming out of it, but sometimes there does because the big, the, the big pad sometimes isn't big enough. So what you're going to do is then you're going to be having this on the body part. So let's say this is the body part with the gel, of course. So we've got gel all over the place on the body part. And you're going to be setting the intensity right here. So you'll go up in intensity until they feel a perfect, comfortable, rather well, tolerant contraction. At that point, then you will need, so you go up in your intensity here, let's say to there, and then we're going to go back here, and you're going to need to go back to channel select and go back to ultrasound. And now, if I start hitting the intensity, it'll actually bring the ultrasound up. But remember, ultrasound will not get turned on unless you hit the start button first. So at this point, you'll hit start, then ultrasound intensity. Now, I don't want to do this because I have it in the air and we never want to put ultrasound in the air. It'll break the crystal. So that's a quick overview of how to use this unit to do combo with the pre-mod. Now, if you wanted to switch it from pre-mod, you can go down here to mode and you can hit enter and go down to high volt and hit enter. And now you're going to need to change some information. So on this one, it's going to be pads are going to be negative, or method is pads, but don't forget you have to switch that polarity to negative, which means that what comes out of here for the motor nerve stem, this ultrasound head, will be a better contraction. Again, of course, change your frequency, use a sweep if you want one. There's not many choices on this one, but you could use it if you wanted to. And set the frequency to your desired physiologic effect. Then again, when you want to go back to working on your ultrasound, you'll go back to channel select. So when it says number two, the intensity will be affecting the motor nerve stem part coming out of here. When it says U, then what you're going to get is the ultrasound, and the intensity will be affecting what's the heat or the pulse ultrasound coming out of the ultrasound head. Okay, that should be a good overview for you.